This is a fantastic question for uh, revising for college entrance exams on uh, areas of shapes. Okay, so all we're given is the radius of the blue circle is X centimetres and we need to find the area shaded in orange. There's two methods I'm going to show. The second one is slightly easier than the first. Uh, in the first traditional method, we will find the area of the blue circle, take away the four areas of the red circles, take away the green bit, and that leaves us with the orange bit. In the second method, slightly easier, we don't need to find the area of the green bit. OK, but in either method, we need to find the radius of the red circle. OK, so let's draw a, uh, a square here. OK, so that's the centre of the blue circle, that's the centre of the red. Uh, now, clearly, that is R. Let's call that R, which is the radius of the red circle. And let's draw another line here. Oops. OK, and that is R. And let's call this bit here P. OK, so we know by Pythagoras that P squared equals R squared add R squared. So therefore, P is equal to root 2R. And we also know that this line here that I've just drawn is the radius of the blue circle, which we know is X centimetres. So we actually know that X equals P plus R, which equals root 2R add R, which equals R root 2 plus 1. And so therefore, the radius of the uh, red circle is equal to uh, x over root 2 plus 1, and we'll probably get that in better form. Let's multiply by root 2 minus 1. And that gives us that r equals x root 2 minus 1, and root 2 plus 1 times root 2 minus 1 is just 1 over 1. OK, and we're going to use that, so that's really, uh, that's really useful. So what we can do now is we can try and find the area of the green bit. OK, now the area of the green bit, again, let's look at this, this square that we've, uh, that we've drawn here. And we can see that the area of the square is equal to one quarter of the area of the red circle add the green bit. So in actual fact, we can find the area of the green bit by saying the area of the square is equal to r squared. And we know that a quarter of the area of the red circle is equal to pi times the radius of the red circle over 4. And we know what the radius of the red circle is. It's x root 2 minus 1. Um, and then we take one from the other. And that gives us that the a quarter of the area of the green bit equals r squared minus pi r squared over 4, which equals uh, r squared 1 minus pi over 4. Um, but there are four green bits. Obviously, this is one green bit here, and then there's another one here, and another one here, and another one here. So we need to four green bits. So the area of all of the green bit equals four times that, which equals r squared 4 minus pi. And we know that r is x root 2 minus 1. So therefore, the area of the green bit equals x squared, just replacing r by x root 2 minus 1, root 2 minus 1 squared, 4 minus pi. So that's the area of the green bit. OK, so now it's a simple uh, case to find out what the area uh, of the orange bit is. The area of the orange bit equals the area of the blue triangle, take away 4 times the area of the red triangle, uh, red, uh, sorry, area of the blue circle, take away 4 times the area of the red circle, take away the green bit, so therefore the area of the orange bit equals, well clearly the area of the blue circle is uh, pi x squared, uh, the area of the red circle is 4 times, uh, because there's 4 of them, pi r squared, and then take away uh, x squared root 2 minus 1 squared 4 minus pi, and let's replace r by, well, let's replace uh, r by x, so it equals pi x squared minus 4 pi and r squared is x squared root 2 minus 1 squared minus x squared root 2 minus 1 squared 4 minus pi uh, and let's take the x squared out and that leaves us with pi minus 4 pi root 2 minus 1 squared minus 4 root 2 minus 1 squared add pi root 2 minus 1 squared and just uh, simplifying all that equals x squared uh, pi minus root 2 minus 1 
squared. Uh, so we're taking that root two minus one squared out of all this. That will leave us with three pi plus four. And that uh, centimeter squared. And that is the area of the orange bit, doing it by the traditional method one. Now, in actual fact, there's a simpler method. Um, if we look at, uh, maybe let's just do it in a different color. Uh, let's do it in uh, blue, why not? Okay, so if we look at this square here, Okay, um, now this square here clearly has an area of the area of the blue square is 4r squared because that's 2r and that's 2r, so it's 4r squared. We don't need to find the area of the green bit now because we can see that the blue square includes a quarter of that circle, a quarter of that circle, a quarter of that circle, and a quarter of that circle, so it basically includes one red circle. So all we need to do to find the orange bit is it's equal to the area of the blue circle take away three of the areas of the red circles because the, uh, take away the area of the red square, okay, which we, is very easy. So now we can do it another way, another way. So uh, area of the orange method two, if you like, equals... Uh, again, the area of the blue circle, take away uh, 3 this time, times uh, pi times the area of the red circle, take away 4r squared, which is the area of the blue square, which equals pi x squared, take away r squared, 3 pi add 4, and then again just replacing r squared, what was r again? Uh, our root uh, x root 2 minus 1 so that equals pi x squared minus um, uh, root 2 minus root 2 minus 1 squared x squared 3 pi add 4 which again equals if we take the x squared out pi minus root 2 minus 1 squared 3 pi add 4 which clearly is the same as uh, centimetre squared, which obviously is the same as method one. The nice thing about method two is that you don't need to bother with the green bit. So it's, it's quite a nice little trick, but it's probably worth knowing how to find the area of the green bit because the question may well have been in the first place, find the area of the green bit. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's been helpful. Um, if so, please subscribe to the Gracie Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.